to hello. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Oshale and you're watching Oshi Reads. And today's video is one I'm super excited about. It's a tag I saw a few weeks ago. I thought it was brilliant and I think it's a great way to recommend black books black authors and black creators including booktubers to you all so I wanted to do it of course and I would be remiss if I did not begin by saying that this tag was created by Reading Black that is the name of the channel I will tag their original video down below please go and check out their channel and show them some support some likes some comments some subscriptions definitely some subscriptions if you like what you see there they also have a bookstagram account as well and a twitter account and they are reading black on all three platforms so without further ado let us begin with the tag question number one is to tell us a little bit about yourself so first i just want to say hello to all my new subscribers hi welcome to the osh fam or the oshi reads fam um yeah i guess this is a little bit about me well first off my name is oshale and my name means queen i was named after my paternal grandmother and i am a first generation immigrant although i am now a citizen and have been for quite some time so i do consider myself and I am a Nigerian American and I'm very proud of it I'm very proud of my roots and my heritage and my homeland and I'm also really proud of my adoptive country America yes America has its flaws it's not perfect as I mean recent climate and events can allude to but uh, there are so many things that I love about this country and my life would not have taken the same path if my father hadn't gotten the opportunity to come to America and bring his family with him. I am a creative person and I am an actress, a writer, an editor, and I also work in beauty and sales. <laughs> so by day, I work in the beauty industry on the medical side and by night or whatever other spare time I can find. You can find me making creative posts on Bookstagram, you can find me here on YouTube, although not as often as I would like. But mostly I do spend a lot of time doing freelance editing jobs and most importantly, writing. Writing is my passion it is my dream to one day soon become a published author hopefully within this decade that we are just entering into I have been re-inspired to pick up uh, one of my old manuscripts that kind of has a lot to do with what's currently going on and I kind of put that manuscript away because working on it was so heavy and so triggering but I've been re-inspired to pick it back up and I've really been going full, full steam ahead with it so I will definitely let y'all know if there's anything to know um, in the coming months and years and also I really love theater I love reading plays I used to love performing in plays I write plays as well I've put up a few plays in my time um, I used to direct for a while I do kind of want to get back into the arts because it's one of my passions I'm also really passionate about black women and creating spaces safe spaces online and offline for black women and spaces where we can truly feel free to express ourselves to let down our guards we have so many stigmas put on us by the world of the angry black woman or the strong black woman or the superhero or the super masculine and it's just there's so many negative stereotypes projected onto us that i'm really passionate about creating safe spaces for us and having dialogue and having just a sense of community camaraderie sisterhood um having a place where we can truly be vulnerable and feel safe to be our authentic selves. We are multifaceted, we are so multidimensional, we are so talented, we are so beautiful and courageous. We are strong but we're also soft and feminine but some of us are also masculine. We're not a monolith and I think that we are so much more than what the world has given to us. We deserve so much more and I'm really passionate about the uplifting of black women in spaces like mine here on Oshi Reads. Obviously I'm not just here for black women, I'm here for everyone but that is kind of something that's near and dear to my heart of creating a space that's not only safe for everyone but especially safe for women who look like me and who I can feel a connection to because of our shared experiences I have two dogs y'all if you've watched any number of my videos you have heard them in the background or you or you have seen them I live in the South North Carolina to be specific I won't tell you exactly where but I'm sure you can guess if you follow me on bookstagram 
I enjoy cooking, baking, going for long walks. Um, I enjoy going on trips. I kind of am intrigued by the idea of solo travel. I don't know how that will be post pandemic, but I'm very intrigued by it. I'm a voracious reader, as you know, and I read across all genres and age groups with the exception of horror. Don't do horror. I really, really love classic movies and classic films. I love film in general, but classic films hold a special place in my heart. I grew up watching Turner classic movies and something about that era, um, anywhere between 20s and 30s up until the 50s and 60s, for some reason those decades in film just have this level of nostalgia for me because of all the movies I watched, mostly with my mom growing up, um, staying up on Saturday nights and watching Turner classic movies with her. There go my dogs. But yes, so that's just a little bit about me. <laughs> I don't want to go on too much more, but as you watch my videos, you'll learn more about me. And I'm super, super happy to see all of you new faces. And of course, all of my loyal subscribers, the Osh fam members, the Oshi Reads fam members. I'm so grateful for you all. Question number two is who is a black author you love that a lot of people don't know about? For me, honestly, because I'm such a huge lover of romance, I will have to talk about all of the romance authors that are black romance authors and mostly independently published that I absolutely am obsessed with. And I would love to go into detail, but I'm actually literally making a whole entire video recommending black romance authors and their books. So I will just say stay tuned for that video and whichever video you're watching first, there will be a link right here. So go check it out. Number three is favorite book about the black experience. This is a very tough one. Um, the first book that comes to mind is honestly a memoir that I've talked about quite a bit on my channel and it's called Bone Black and it's Bell Hook's memoir about her life. I owned a copy years ago and I don't know, I'm telling you, every time I move there is a black hole that books go to when you move. I know there is and when I moved from New York to um, when I moved from one borough in New York to another borough I lost my copy and I don't know what happened to it here we go bone black let's see memories of girlhood by girl by girl by bell hooks that is a book that always comes to mind when i think about books about the black experience that i truly love i also want to talk about a more recent read that i just recently um read and that is black girl unlimited by echo brown this was a very powerful read um trigger warnings for sure for abuse um poverty violence um yeah lots of trigger warnings in here but uh, I really 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 enjoyed this it was powerful and impactful I had a lot of issues reading it the first time around um, but I've actually reread it since I read it initially for my book club black prose book club I will link the live discussion we have talking about this book right now but I actually went back and reread it not the entire book just parts and I just realized how much I really like this book I really really like it and so I definitely highly recommend this one Number four is favorite book by a black author and I hate favorites questions because I have so many options and it just depends on what mood I'm in and what time period I want to read about and what type of literature I want to read about but I will just throw out some authors that I feel are really important that if you are looking to truly delve in into the black American experience especially or really find out more about black writers, um, I would recommend James Baldwin. He probably is my number one recommendation. He is a very powerful activist and voice in the black lit community and also just in black culture. Um, black american culture but also within the diaspora because he did leave america and lived um, abroad for some time he has some amazing essays about the black experience about race in america and throughout the diaspora about what it means to be a black person in this world a black man in this world so many powerful powerful works written by him um, my current favorite is the fire next time so i highly recommend that one I also recommend Nigerian writers like Wole Soyinka and Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie and um, the OG Chinya Achebe, especially his work Things Fall Apart. From Chimamanda, I have a lot of recommendations. 
My number one recommendation is Purple Hibiscus by her. I remember reading this back in 2014 or 15 and being incredibly moved and relating to it so much and connecting to the story so, so deeply. Um, trigger warnings for uh, abuse, um, domestic violence, and things like that. But yes, such a powerful, impactful read. Next is Half of a Yellow Sun, which might be actually my personal favorite. Talks a lot about the Biafran War and the after effects of it. So I highly recommend this one if you wanna know more about Nigeria's history. And also, of course, um, this is kind of the one that people really know, Americana. I recommend this one as well. I recommend all her books. If you like young adult books, then I would really recommend one of my favorite writers right now is Elizabeth Acevedo. I love all of her books. I would say my favorite. It's really, really tough to choose right now. I absolutely adored The Poet X and then I read the fire With the Fire on High and adored that. And now I'm currently reading Clap When You Land and completely just enraptured. But I have the books here to show you, so I definitely want to show them to you. Here is The Poet X, which is written in verse. It's very, very powerful and um, honestly I want to do y'all a favor and say that if you're gonna read Elizabeth Acevedo's you really 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 need to read or excuse me listen to her books um, her audiobooks are phenomenal she reads them herself and there is nothing like it trust me just trust me just trust me once you go the audiobook route with Elizabeth Acevedo you will not go back I have with the fire on high here which is not written in verse and details the story of a young black single mother which sounds stereotypical but is so not and i love the fact that she centered a young single mother in the story who's in high school and who's killing it and doing amazing and loves to cook and the way food is used in the story imani is such a strong beautiful vulnerable and yet just blossoming young woman and her relationship with her daughter is absolutely stunning and poignant. Uh, I especially really loved the relationship with her grandmother. Um, I don't know, I really enjoyed this book. It really touched me. So as much as I love the Podex, I'm, I'm thinking this one edged out on it just, just, just a smidge. And then last but not least, I am currently loving the audiobook, but I still have the physical copy of Clap When You Land. It is blowing me away about these two sisters from two different worlds who didn't know anything about each other until their father's plane goes down and they're having to sort of reconcile with their grief of losing this pillar in their lives and also now finding out about each other for the first time. We have Yahaira in New York and Camino in the Dominican Republic and they live such different existences and yet they're sisters and they're bonded by blood and by this love of a father who they will have to come to grips with the fact that they never fully knew him and yet they loved him so much. So I'm absolutely adoring this one. Highly recommend the audiobook. You're welcome. If you love fantasy, then I have to recommend N.K. Jemisin. N.K. freaking Jemisin. I'm still in the grips of reading this one. I'm slow reading it because I, when I find authors that aren't necessarily as prolific with their work but I really really admire their writing style I think that their minds are brilliant I enjoy their stories I slow read their books because I'm kind of savoring everything so I'm slow reading this one right now and then after I finish that one I will be taking on her Broken Earth trilogy which I'm super excited about so this is the bind up right here and includes oh they're all upside down the fifth season the obelisk obelisk gate and the stone sky they're not in order so i do apologize for that but i will be taking on this trilogy once i finish um once i finish this one so super excited and um based on what i've read so far i recommend 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 number five recommend a black and queer book and i have one that i'm really loving that i'm listening to on audiobook right now and I'm listening to like five audiobooks right now, y'all. But I would recommend All Boys Aren't Blue by George M. Johnson. So far it is, it's beautiful, but you know that feeling of having like your heart in your throat, like you can't fully swallow and you're holding your breath 
and you release the breath you didn't know you were holding. Don't you love it? I mean, I really didn't know I was holding it though. <laughs> like that's the feeling I get when I listen to this audiobook. This is another one that I'm slow reading, but not really because I only listen to audiobooks when I commute. So every time in my, in my car, I have my options. I either am reading All Boys Aren't Blue, or right now I have started reading Stamped from the Beginning by Ibrahim X. Kendi. So that's gotta be another recommendation. Stamped from the Beginning is phenomenal, especially if you want to be an accomplice and you are not black and you're not a person of color, or even if you are a person of color who's non-black, and you want to educate yourself because I keep hearing that phrase I'm taking this time to educate myself I'm taking this time to educate myself and it's like what does that really mean right I think stamp from the beginning is an excellent place to start excellent um so I have to recommend that as well and I'll put the covers up here because it's a little hard to show well there's the audiobook right there and ooh. There's the audiobook of All Boys Aren't Blue. Question number six. Recommend a book with a black person on the cover. This is a book that I am currently reading. I initially chose it to be a part of my Throwbackathon TBR, but I haven't finished it quite yet. I'm about 90, I said 95%, but it's really about 90% of the way through, so I'm almost done and I'm absolutely obsessed with it now. And this book is Slay by Brittany Morris. And this is about a black girl gamer who creates a, an amazing virtual reality world game whatever you want to call it and her world starts being under attack and she's been accused of something she didn't do and now she's having to prove her innocence and all this crazy stuff is happening and she doesn't want her world she doesn't want her safe space hmm, we talked about creating safe spaces for black women online she doesn't want her safe space destroyed or exposed because no one knows that she created this world and this universe of say <laughs> Welcome to Oshi Reads, guys. But yes, so highly, highly, highly recommend Slay. I honestly am shocked that I'm enjoying it as much as I am. I thought I would like it, but I didn't know that I would love it as much as I'm loving it, but I really am. And now I am permanently going to be on the lookout for anything else that Brittany Morris is going to be coming out with. Number seven is recommend, recommend, recommend a book by a black author that makes you happy. And this is where my love for black romance comes in. I already talked about the recommendations video that I will be making, but I specifically wanted to talk about a book that I just finished reading on my Kindle uh, over the weekend that I absolutely adored. And I'm going to pull it up for y'all. It's called Dream. And it's, you guys know how much I love street lit. If you don't, check out some of my older videos. I talk about it. But I also talk about how much I don't like the label urban fiction and how I prefer street lit. So that's what we go with on my channel. But um, I say all that to say, let me locate my Kindle app and stop running my mouth. This is Dream by Keisha R. Irvin. And oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I completely devoured it. I read the entire thing cover to cover. I did not stop. It was one of those reads in one sitting. I was completely obsessed. The female protagonist was badass. The male protagonist was gritty and amazing and gave me everything I wanted. I loved the story. I loved everything about this. I just really enjoyed this read. So I'm going to give y'all a synopsis real quick so you know what it was about. Older Older, wiser, and a little more heartless, India Black is existing, but she isn't living. After the tragic death of her first love, she's been financially cut off by her mother and making it on her own in Philly. Full-time college student by day and bottle girl at a popular strip club by night, India is trying her best to make ends meet but barely getting by. After the day from hell, her life is turned upside down when she meets the elusive, menacing, cocky as hell, king of Philly, Dream. Filthy rich and fine as hell, Keanu Dessalines Baptiste, aka Dream, runs the streets of Philly with an iron fist. All he knows is money, madness, and murder. With a snap of his fingers, he can turn his enemies into a mere memory. Born with the weight of being next in line to run the Baptiste crime family, he wants to live life on his own terms, but being a Don comes with rules and allegiances he can't forsake. 
For India, dream is everything she's been trying to avoid, but the one man she can't get out of her system. From the moment they meet, their undeniable chemistry takes over and all they can see is each other. But their past traumas, dysfunctional families, and callous ways threaten to end them before they even begin. What will happen when these two broken hearts collide? Will they let go and let love in, or will their pride and outside forces shatter their cracked hearts to pieces? So yes, that's the synopsis. So yes, it is involving a crime family. If you love bully romances or hate to love trope in romance, you will absolutely adore this. If you like those like mafia crime type romances, you will love this. Um, if you like street lit, you will love this. If you like, I don't know, just a lot of angst, <laughs> then you will love this. I loved it. Question number eight recommend some black booktubers. So I will actually link some black booktubers in the description box, but I have a plethora. I actually recommended a crap ton of amazing black booktubers in my, um, my video talking about Black Lives Matter and what's going on right now. So I will link that video above. And if you go check that video out, then you can go to the description box and find such an amazing list that I compiled. I worked really hard of black booktubers or if you haven't, if you've already seen that video and you didn't know that that was in the description box, it is. And it's also in the pinned comment in the comment section. But I will also list some newer black booktubers that I found recently. So I will link them in the bottom or in the description box of this video and in a pinned comment as well. So go check it out. Number nine. Talk about a book by a black author that's coming in 2020. So a book I'm super excited about is actually Grown and this is Tiffany D. Jackson's next book. It comes out September 15th so I'm super super hyped for it. I do have some books that have already come out so I will kind of show y'all because they came out recently and if you didn't know about them or you weren't interested I just wanted to showcase them real quick. The first book is a book that I talked about in my most recent haul video, but just in case you haven't seen that video, this is A Song Below Water by Bethany C. Morrow, and it is about black mermaids, and honestly, what more? What more could you ask for in life? honestly. But yes, it surrounds the siren myth and I've heard nothing but great things. It's not even that long so if you're a person that doesn't really like to read long books then this one is short and sweet and to the point. It comes in right just under 300 pages, right about 280 or so, 286. So short, sweet, packs a punch so here you are. Another one that I just got into my hands recently is... Oh, may not destroy it. This is A Song of Wraiths and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. So I just got this one in my hands. It is a fantasy and it's not African inspired like I thought it was. It, it reads very Arabian Nights to me right now with black characters, which is fascinating. So I'm only about two to three chapters in, so I will let y'all know how I feel about it when I'm done. But this one came out recently. Yes, earlier this month, Ju <laughs> earlier this month, June 2nd, you should see me in a crown, Ilya Johnson. And that I should have also picked for my queer recommendation, but I highly recommend. I will put the cover right here. I actually have it on Kindle, so I don't have a physical copy to show you. And last but certainly not least is Riot Baby by Tochi Onyabuchi, and that one came out in January of this year. I actually got it from my library and I'm reading it and I am blown away. I am blown away. I highly recommend this. It is so eerie how much the emotions and what's going on in that book is like spot on to what we're experiencing right now. It is eerie. But yes, Riot Baby, I I recommend it. I recommend Tochi Onyibuchi on period. He is amazing. And that is it for this video, the Black Booktuber tag. I really enjoyed doing it. I hope you found some new books to read or if you were eyeing some books before and you weren't sure, I hope this pushed you over the edge and convinced you. I'm ever so happy to add to your TBR as always. I will tag some amazing booktubers, black booktubers of course, to do this tag. They are tagged down below. Go check out their channels as well and I will catch y'all in my next video. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for the likes. <laughs> Speaking of, please take this moment to like this video. It really does help with engagement. Make sure you leave a comment. That also helps with engagement. And I will see you all in my next video. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Mwah. Bye.